Guys, they said Igbi was in shock over what happened to her while returning back from Okene, uh, where she went to do her fortifications. <laughs> Information have it that that uh, spirit of Inkumbus and Sukubus that has been a problem to them in the palace have started again. And this time around, it is too much that even the people who send Inkumbus and Sukubus and Sukubus are now having an uh, attack of Inkumbus and Sukubus. <laughs> you know that throughout the period that uh, Dr. Elizabeth, when Dr. Elizabeth came to the palace, uh, Igbi expected her to dance to her tune, as in expected Dr. Elizabeth to dance to Igbi's tune. But unfortunately, Dr. Elizabeth decided to follow the footsteps of her husband and support Queen Naomi's return. Boom, before you know it, the Igbi started attacking Dr. Elizabeth with uh, uh, Inkumbus and Sukubus, that sleep paralysis that she was suffering of then. After several uh, things, Kabiesi contacted some of the factory strong ones and all of that. After some things that they did, that one stopped. Right now, they said Igbi herself have started experience that uh, uh, that uh, Inkumbus and Sukubus attack right there in the in the Olori quarters. You know that according to what we are hearing, they said that Inkumbus and Sukubus happens to be one of the major problem that these people experience in that locality. Maybe because they are uh, surrounded with many traditionalists. You know that those places is known for traditional settings, has a lot of traditionalists. I think the number of traditionalists residing in that life, I think they are, they outnumber the number of Christians and other religion there. So for that reason, certain things are no longer news to them. Something like this in Kumbus and Sukubus. All they need to do is to get themselves fortified, prepare for it. When they come, they will not see you. So they say sometimes people used to experience it. Sometimes it's not because they want to attack that person. But maybe you know that when an evil spirit is hovering a certain area, people in that place will experience it. And some people there, if you're not strong enough, they might come and they hypnotize you. But sometimes they will come for you, you know. this In this case, they, they don't know if they have come for Igbi or they are just passing and they just say, let them greet her more, you know, something of that nature. So my people, they said after that incident, she decided that, uh, no, she's not going to continue like that. Because they said for days, she wasn't sleeping well. Throughout the night, she'll be... Uh, 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 asleep she will be awake you know she'll be awake because of the fear of that inkumbus and sukubus attack and because her hands are not clean she was expecting that this could be coming from this person or that person and all of that even if she managed to sleep off the thing will still come so when she experienced this thing for days she said no that she is going to do something about it and that was why they said she went to okene this okene that is where they say she went to do her fortification it was a long process because they said the driver that she newly employed, at some point they said the driver was kind of complaining. The driver was tired, you know. But, you know, she paid him for everything, even every trip they make. So there is nothing the driver can do if not to be uh, patient and wait until she finishes. But they say while the driver was narrating the whole thing to some people he was talking to, they said it was of hours, for hours, they were doing this fortification. And after fortification, there are other things that she also did that the driver cannot open his mouth and talk, my people. But something happened that they said when they were coming back from that Okene after the fortification. I thought uh, after fortification, that person would be invisible to the enemies. That was what I was thinking. Of. <laughs> and considering the fact that a Niger hunger day, hunger day for Niger, you know, all those bad boys, they are looking for what to eat. And you know, say, if they catch you, you must provide money. And now they say those bad boys, they come, uh, they look for the, he beat them. They say, she, if not for, as in, that, if not that the driver that she, she hired this time is, is uh, what I say, an expert that he, <laughs> Those kiddy 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 people, you know, they for don't buy, they for don't catch them, and you know, say if they catch them, <laughs> now enough money go come out because now can't be a sea wife now, 
And it might not end there. If she's not lucky enough, they might sky her on the process because you know. So some of this, uh, the reason why people avoid all this kidna kidna is because you don't know who is who. You don't know who have sent them. Whether they have come for money or they have come for your life, life. You know. So they said when she escaped that incident, as in the way it happened, even those people were chasing them. When they escaped those, uh, the route to that people, when they got to the places that people are living, they said they have to stop their car and run into people's house. Yet, those people were coming after her. And this is to tell you that this kind of people, maybe someone must have sent them, you know, to buy her. Because at this point, I don't think it's all, uh, it's all about money or anything. I don't know. But they said she was breathing profusely. She, she almost collapsed because, you know, so most times, eh? You know what happened to people when all, all these bad, bad boys catch them? Is their, their their heart will fail them. It's not about the money or anything. So they say when she returned back from this journey, she was like, what kind of fortification did she do? And yet, <laughs> she was running her task out and trying to be alive by people. <laughs> Hey, anyways, that is how she'll be running Helter Skelter until she learned to leave with Naomi alone. And according to the information we are hearing, they said when she went to the palace to go and narrate this ordeal to Kabiesi, they said Kabiesi was surprised. But while they were there with some of the elders that that were present, they said an Ifa priest came to the came to see Kabiesi for another thing. You know, and after the Ifa priest must have come to let Kabiesi that uh, let Kabiesi know that danger looms that kabiyasi should be very careful that danger looms they said uh the fabrics have to turn around to igbi and let igbi and they said the fabrics told igbi if you don't want what happened to you to repeat itself and this time around if you allow it to repeat itself again that you are not going to uh, make it alive that if you don't want that to happen that you should stop taking Quinami's pictures to your babalawos. That was what they said the, uh, the babalawo told her in front of everyone. They said she was embarrassed big time. And then how did uh, the Ifa priest know what happened to her? Nobody knows. Then the funny part of it is that they said when she came back, she started accusing Blow Blow. That it was Blow Blow who sent those guys after him, after her. Hey, <laughs> these people, they will not cease to amuse me. Anyway, I am not surprised. After all, when Blow Blow's son got missing, like they told us, they said Blow Blow accused her. So anything that happens to any one of them, they know who to accuse. And if you check them very well, you might find out that they are involved. Anyways, I don't know what to say, but all I can say is that as long as they will not let Queen Naomi be, they will always be in a hot soup boiling. <laughs> anyway, guys, don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share my video. Bye. Love you guys.